Well, how do there, people in the view of us? Tis I, Captain of the Steers, and today, chums, I want to talk about Zendesk. So what is Zendesk? I've been learning and schooling myself all about Zendesk. So yeah, just to give you a quick overview, just to show you what I've been researching upon. You can see here my this is my YouTube history. So you can see I love sci-fi and all sorts of weirdness and stuff like that. But here you go. You can see I spend quite a lot of time watching Zendesk videos. Some I've watched in full. Some I've started watching like, no, that's not what I'm after. But if I keep scrolling up, I'll get to a pretty awesome Zendesk video in a second, which I think gives you the best sort of overview of Zendesk support. Uh, you can see there I've, I've been watching a little bit of Jurassic Park. Heck yes, it's freaking awesome. I might do a video similar to this because I've just started playing it as well anyway on to zendes support so let's hit on up this video and i'll let you watch this in full let me just pause this because you don't want to have my music playing at the same time and chikabam and here we go zendesk is software for better customer service customer service starts with a question an email tweet phone call chat search in your help center zendesk collects all these conversations and brings them in one place which is easy to set up and simple to use. For support agents, it highlights conversations that require attention, enables work on multiple tickets at the Okay, so at this point, this is sort of like a deep dive into the data and you can actually see the customer's message and then you can go back and you can reply in whatever which way you want. Now, if you've ever raised a Zendesk ticket with Hello Games, you would notice that you get an email to say they got your Zendesk report, but what you very rarely get, in fact, the whole time that I've sent Zendesk messages over to them, I've never actually had a closure report. I've never had anything to come back to me to say, yes, this has now been fixed. It's going to be in the next update. Nothing like that. So I don't think they're utilizing it as much as what we're seeing inside of this demo. At the same time, and provides the tools and information you need to solve an issue, even if that stuff doesn't come from Zendesk. And when an issue requires input from other people in your company, Zendesk makes it easy to collaborate and work as a team. All these interactions are tracked by Zendesk, providing valuable data about your company as well as analysis of your performance. Okay, so this is the sort of thing that I think Hello Games are going to be seeing at their end is quite a lot of graphs. So how many people have been reporting issues on Switch? How many people have been reporting issues on PC versus PlayStation, etc.? And when they see those numbers go high, then they might click into that graph and do a bit of a deep dive to see what's going on. So... I'm wondering whether they only react to alarm levels inside of their reporting and then do the deep dive into the actual messaging people. And I'm not too sure whether you've ever seen one of your Zendesk sort of reports actually get closed or have any sort of reply or interaction other than we've got your request. Let us know inside the comments if you've ever had a reply from Zendesk from Hello Games. And how it compares to your peers. So whether you're managing a team of one or a team of a thousand, you'll have a real sense of how things are working. Nice. But tools, data, and efficiency don't mean a lot if you don't understand the actual people behind the questions and whether or not they're satisfied. And ultimately, well, I know I've never had an interaction survey to ask me how pleased I am with the service I've got from Zendesk off the back of Hello Games, people inside the viewerverse. So yeah, I think that they're probably seeing holistic overview when it comes to data inside of whatever they've got set up for themselves inside of Zendesk. So I'm wondering for them to actually react to things, whether we have to see, well, they have to see some sort of alert level threshold be reached, like I mentioned earlier. So I still think it's very important that you submit things through to the Zendesk, but it does matter on each of the different drop downs what you select as you're doing it. So if you are reporting a base building encroachment, it's very important that you select base building from the, uh, the applicable drop down, you know, because hopefully they're going to see that threshold reach and go, hold on, what the fudge is going on with base building right now? Dive on in and take a quick look. And if you're not sure why I sort of said about the base building element, I made a video called Base Building Trolls, which is about people actually taking ownership of your base by putting a base computer right next to it. So anyway, if you haven't seen that, I put a video in that top corner over there. Go and hit that one up. Be sure to watch that one because that explains everything that I'm going on about right now, pretty much. But I still think the Zendesk 
is quite important, mainly because it's the only way that we've got to reach Hello Games. And although that you get hit by a wall of silence, as, a, as you do with sending them emails or any other communication, um, yeah, it's the only one we've got. It's the only one we've got. It's, it's got to be better than nothing, hasn't it, people? I know there's people that say Zendesk are terrible. Ten, Zendesk is, is pretty much all that is. It just sends over sort of like surveys, customer satisfaction surveys to the actual owner. It's almost like having a customer service department that's been farmed out and automated. It's a, a series of button presses when you're phoning through to try and talk to a human and all you get is a robot. It's the, it's the equivalent of that, people inside of the view of us. And some people love it, some people hate it. And now I'm on the fence of it. And because it's the only means of communication to Hello Games, I need to actually promote it because it's the only avenue you've got. Uh, I mean, sounding off inside of my comments is all well and good, but I'm only going to be able to speculate on what the answer may be. I don't work for Hello Games is where I'm going with this. So if you do encounter any problems with No Man's Sky, be sure to send off in, in the comments anyway. There's, there's a likelihood I might know a workaround or something to help you guys out. But otherwise, if, if, you, if I can't come up with an answer or somebody else in the community can't come up with an answer, Zendesk is the only way or means of contact in Hello Games. I've got a video that I put on the end card of this video on how to uh, log a Zendesk request. Be sure to hit that one up because it covers all the drop downs and what's important, what's not. And it's got the link in the video description there to the Zendesk. However, Hello Games is, I mean, not Hello Games, YouTube is going to be removing all links from video descriptions soon, people. But you can just Google Zendesk no man's sky and it should come up with everything you need on google anyway goodbye goodbye and goodbye again